The spray of water, the scent of sand, the feel of warm air, the thrill of learning a new sport despite the fumbles and falls. You know, pretty much any day at the lake will have at least three of those four, but today it's the last one that's the most important. Here at Pine View Reservoir in northern Utah, one event is inviting everyone to try something new on the water. It mixes novice with pro for a chance to learn and progress, all with a bit of competition thrown in. What we have today is about 50 people that are demoing uh, eight of the best wake surf boats out on the market from Mastercraft and Taiga uh, and uh, Supra and Moomba and Centurion and Nautique today, uh, along with boards from a number of different manufacturers, including Liquid Force. Uh, and then tomorrow, it's actually in its sixth year, it's the sixth annual Wake Up Wakeboard Competition. So it's actually one of the biggest wakeboard competitions in the western U.S. We'll see about three or 4,000 people on the shoreline and 50 of some of the best riders from Grom on up through Outlaw level which culminates in a double up competition. We thought we'd keep it a uh, local event which actually is, has grown like Tony said to uh, pretty much a western U.S. market. The competition extends beyond just wakeboard stunts though. Many visitors at the demo day have never tried any of the boats out on the water, a fact of which the dealers and manufacturers want to take advantage. We really like to, uh, to get head to head on the water. Um, I mean, sitting in a showroom is one thing, but actually getting customers out on the water to experience the surf waves, to experience the boats, that's what it's all about, is having fun on the water, getting families out, friends out, and just enjoying the boats. Just good family fun. You can do multiple sports. You can surf, wakeboard, ski, tube, um, kneeboard, pretty much anything behind them. The real focus of the event is the introduction day first-time riders get the chance to try to stand up, if even for just a moment. That fleeting thrill could potentially change the way they recreate for the rest of their lives, eventually bringing loved ones and friends along with them. It's that exponential impact that event organizers have personally experienced and why they want to share it as well. These aren't the biggest sports in the world, and when you talk about doing it behind a boat, it also has some cost to it. We're grateful to see more and more cable parks coming into the equation, which is, makes it much more accessible. Um, but we want to continue to build events like this and like the demo events where, you know, the dealerships and the manufacturers get involved to kind of introduce the sport to new people. And those new people extend to women who are often left out of extreme sports, which are pretty much dominated by men. Today is also about them with gear made specifically to get women out on the water. She Shreds is a brand and an online store for females of all ages who wakeboard, skateboard, snowboard, mountain bike. We were at the competition last year and there was such an amazing turnout. There were so many little girls here and a lot of females and it was just a great atmosphere. It's usually mainly guys that are out there doing these sports and a lot of girls that are involved in these action sports they're always riding with guys their brothers their friends their boyfriends and we just wanted to build a community um, a shred network if you will of women all over the world who are into these sports and can connect and ride together and that's what events like this are all about. Introducing everyone, no matter their age, ability, or gender, to a lifestyle that brings families, friends, and even first-time acquaintances together on the water. The success isn't in how large the crowds are, or how skilled the riders are, but in every first attempt to stand up on the roiling wake of a tournament boat. We had a few people let go of the rope the first time today. That's the best feeling when you, you find that pocket and you learn how to, to actually surf the wave without a rope holding you. When we have younger ones, especially younger boys and girls that kind of come into it and you see them practically apply things that you've kind of taught them, that it, and it builds character, it builds, it builds uh, confidence, it just makes them, you know, broader based humans and that's the big thing for me that I walk away with is when I see the kids like starting to blow up and you know, lights going on and, and they're throwing things in contests that, that, that work, you know. Similar events are still being held throughout the remainder of the summer and you can contact your local boat dealers to learn details. So if you're looking to find out what it feels like to stand on the water, your chance is just a rope tug away. From the Trailhead, I'm Terry Wood. 
Hey guys, if you liked that video, you're gonna wanna watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna wanna like it, you're gonna wanna share it, and you're gonna wanna subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna wanna do, click, right? Click, click, click. Click on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.